Well, hello. Welcome back. Boy, it's been a long time since you've seen me, huh? Or seen my recipes. I've been kind of busy. Uh, but tonight's a special day. I'm making a chuck roast. Three pound boneless chuck roast. Got at Ralph's. It was on sale. And I'm going to do it in my favorite instrument of all time, which is the Instant Pot. So right now I got a tablespoon of canola oil that's going. It's going to get nice and hot. The chuck roast here, I pat it dry. I'm going to cut into thirds. I'm going to season the pieces with dried onion soup mix. Can you believe it? Yes. Lipton's fine. I'm using the store-bought brand here. It saved me 79 cents. Here, I have a mixture of tomato paste, Worcestershire, and balsamic vinegar. And I'll give you the ingredients down below in my recipe. But it's about a tablespoon of tomato paste, two tablespoons of balsamic, and about a tablespoon and a half of the Worcestershire. And this is one complete packet of the onion soup mix. It should cover the three. So let me get to uh, cutting this up into three pieces. You could do two if you like. I have an eight quart Instant Pot. So two pieces will be plenty, but let me do three. So I'm gonna cut this and be back in a flash. Okay, so I cut up each of the three pieces and I didn't do a good job in making them uniform distribution. In fact, this one had some fat on the end, so after I cut it, it got a bit smaller, but that's quite all right. So I've also coated the best I can with the onion soup mix. And now my pan's getting nice and hot. And some of this onion soup will have a tendency maybe to uh, burn. That's okay too. Because most of the recipes I saw put dried onion on there. Uh, when I make a chuck roast in the oven, it'll be uh, a whole onion or two. Okay, so the, the Instant Pot is hot enough. And I'm going to see if I can. Yep. Okay, so... Let that go in. Oh. I'm not supposed to move things around. And last one. Mm, didn't do a very good job there. Okay, these are gonna go about two, three minutes per side. And I will be back when I do the last side steering. Note, however, while that goes, I don't have any vegetables. Hmm, pray tell, where might they be? Well, again, unlike the Dutch oven in my oven, if I put the potatoes and carrots in now, they will be incinerated with the pressure cooking. So I'm gonna cook the chuck roast for about an hour on pressure. And then when it's done, I'm gonna take the lid off, put the vegetables in, bring it back up to pressure for about five minutes. So that we will get to at the very end. But for now, Let's let this go two minutes to side, and I'll be back when I ground all four sides of each piece. Okay, thanks, five. Okay, so all four sides have done sauteing. So let's put them down. The bottom come out mm, a little sticky. I'm oh, sorry. That's okay. Let's And there. Now, let's add our fluid. And I just forgot to mention, I need one cup of beef broth. But I forgot about beef broth, so I got chicken broth just fine. One cup. And then here's the other fluids I was talking about. Let's get that in there. I'm going to scrape that in. Give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay, again, there's all my fluid. Now it should have been one cup of beef broth, but I don't have any, so I'm using chicken broth. The two tablespoons of balsamic, one and a half tablespoons of Worcestershire, and about one tablespoon of tomato paste. Doesn't need any more salt with all that dried onion soup mix. I'm gonna put the lid on. And we will go to 
pressure cook for about one hour, one hour, I'm gonna go one hour and five minutes because it's a fairly big piece. One hour and five minutes. It'll take probably 20 minutes just to come up to pressure, so it won't be ready for another hour and a half. Now, what are we gonna do in an hour and a half? Now, let's make sure that, there, vent's closed. That's good, okay, vent's closed. Uh, when it does come up to pressure, when it's done in an hour and a half, we're gonna shut this off completely. We're gonna press the cancel button, it won't keep warm anymore, but we're gonna keep the vent on it's gonna manually release for about 20 minutes. When the 20 minutes is up, we're gonna add our vegetables and then pressure cook for another three. So it's gonna take some time. All right, we'll see you in about an hour and a half. Bye. Okay, just a quick check-in. It took about 15, 20 minutes to come up to pressure as we set it at one hour and five minutes. And it's now 104. And it's gonna go on high and really just tenderize the meat beautifully. And when this is done, now 103, when this is done, I'm gonna start cutting up the carrots. Uh, I'm gonna add the potatoes whole because I have these very petite baby potatoes, and as my own treat, some mushrooms. So watch this space, we'll see you in a bit, bye. Okay, I'm back. The Instant Pot is just about done. We got under a minute left. I prepped here my carrots. Oh, see, it's done. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna disable the keep warm function. We're gonna actually shut everything off. And we're gonna let this manually release for about 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm gonna keep the valve on here. Let it slowly go down, about 10 or 15 minutes, and then we'll still vent it, and there's still a lot of pressure left in that. Okay. So over here, I cut up about three, four carrots. They were pretty small, maybe even five, but they were very tiny, and I sliced them up. Not terribly big. Uh, got a pound and a half of carrots, uh, potatoes from Ralph's. These are little baby potatoes. I couldn't find the white ones. The red ones, uh, they're okay. I prefer the creamy white ones or Yukon Gold. And I have some old mushrooms here that I cut up into quarters. Uh, some with the stem, one, some without. So, what are we gonna do? This is off. The pressure, again, should come down quite a bit, so 10, 15 minutes from now, I'm gonna vent this, I'm gonna add the vegetables back in, I'm gonna salt them, and then we'll put the lid back on, and pressure cook it again for about three minutes tops. Okay, so I'll see you when I start to release the pressure, and we're on our way. Okay, we're back. It's rested for a little bit longer than I anticipated. I got tied up with something else. So I'm going to vent it anyway. I'm sure there's pressure in there, but let's take the pressure out. So no, it's, uh, it's manually released for quite some time, so that's good. So when the red knob drops, that means all the pressure is fully released. I can safely remove this lid. We'll add our vegetables, we'll salt them, and then we'll pressure cook again. So, uh, we'll take another minute or so for the pressure to come down, and when it does, I will resume filming. Bye. Okay, the pressure was down actually just shortly after I last filmed. So I put the carrots in, the potatoes, and my favorite, the mushrooms, threw a little salt on there, and I'm going to restart the process, pressure cook for just about three minutes, and then we'll do another slow release. We will be back after the slow release is finished. Okay, so we're back. After the potatoes, carrots, and mushrooms have cooked for three minutes, and then, released for 10 minutes. 
I vented the rest of the steam and these are my vegetables that I put into a dish. And there's my three chunks of meat, which I'm going to put into that white dish over here. And then we're gonna shred. So that'll be done. I'm gonna take them out and let them sit just for a bit until five, not four or five minutes. Okay, we'll be back.